I think there are different versions of the pardon. It's just that forgiveness piece of an individual. In theory, it is supposed to be about mercy. And back in you know the, the origins of if, if, if we take when there were British monarchs, there wasn't a constitution, um, the idea was that a lot of justice, so to speak, was, was resolved among private parties. Um, you know, it, it, there was sort of a Hatfields and McCoy type retribution for, for uh, conf murder, theft against the family, and you took matters into your own hands. And then the Kim came in and shifted the, the backdrop of that. No, it's not a crime against the family, it's actually a crime against me. I'm the king, there's something, you know, the, uh, this idea of the divine right of kings, that the king's power came from God, that if, if uh, someone slayed the king on the battlefield, the notion is who, that victor was supposed to be king because God anointed them. So the king comes in and says, I will pardon people who have had been, been you know, miscarriages of justice. And back then as well, as you know, there was no functioning criminal justice system. There wasn't a, a federal r rules of criminal procedure. There was not the Fourth, Fifth, Sixth Amendment. There were not appeals and, and, and various kinds of measures to ensure that people weren't abused through the criminal justice system. That being said, um, kings did you know, hand out pardons to cronies to protect themselves. They would pardon people to get them to, to go to the new world. They'd pardon people to get them to you know, uh, join an army. Um, that definitely, uh, you know, between that period and between the ratification of the Constitution, there was what's known as this Enlightenment period where these thinkers kind of were thinking about liberty and government by the people, but those limitations didn't make it into the Constitution and the pardon power. So as you say, um, certainly in, in the late 20th and the 21st century, we've seen, I think really since Bill Clinton most prominently, and, and, um, or even before that, George H.W. Bush, uh, presidents using pardons, midnight pardons, on the way out of office. Um, George W. Bush said, listen, I, I don't think this is a great idea. There's this flurry of people with access that want these favors at the end. And it really kind of got crossed the Rubicon in the Trump administration, where presidents are using the pardon power to, for friends, for allies, for donors, and to protect themselves from, from oversight. And there's just no way the framers of the Constitution would have endorsed that, but they probably didn't anticipate lots of things about the 21st century. <laughs>